marketing and popularizing South African literature. This is the driving force behind this collaboration. We have seen a collaboration between poetry and music uh, over a long time, and as well as literature and theater. But there is hardly collaboration between visual art and literature. And because we believe that artists are inspired by human condition, and human condition is expressed in literature, we thought that if we select works of African literature, give to artists, see how they interpret it, they may have interesting take on the stories. This local artist says he hopes this project will help him grow in his career. They interpreted the work of Don Matera, uh, man to man, and when you're fighting, you, it's a very intense uh, feeling. You, you're close to somebody, but you also want to push them away. So it's like attracting and pushing away at the same time. And you don't want to hug your enemy, but when you're fighting, you're hugging your enemy. Hopefully, next year, I will be exhibiting in America, in the USA, and that will be like a great stepping stone. American artists endorsed the concept and have called on local artists to tap into international markets. I met a lot of wonderful African artists here that, um, wow, you know, it's just amazing that um, the work that they do and the story that they tell behind the work. I wish that Everyone takes this in and, and has the opportunity to encourage someone else to grow, right? Um, encourage the Americans to come to South Africa and grow as an artist, grow in literature, grow in dance, grow in the art form, as well as the South Africans to expand outside of the, of the country. This exhibition will run until the first week of December. Lirekomotseko, SBC News, Kimberley.